going to start off with the Master Fix Maybelline Translucent Powder on my brows just to get my brows started. And um, yes, I'm taking Elmer's Glue, the purple one that dries clear, to set my brows um, with the heat and everything here. It's like the easiest thing that I found to keep my eyebrows from like smudging, getting messed up, all that, all that. So I just let that dry down. And then go in with my Dip Brow in Anastasia Beverly Hill um, in the shade Ebony. And I'm just going to do these brows real fast. Um, I kind of like just did them as quick as I could because I know how to fix them with concealer. So I didn't try to make them like super perfect. I got the basic shape and then fixed them. It's like the easiest way to do brows. I don't know why everyone always wants to, like, to do a brow tutorial. It's pretty easy. Just fill them in and clean it up with concealer. It's like the best, best way to do it. And I'm just going to take the um, Too Faced concealer that I always use in the shade Maple and... Um, Carve out my brows and make them sharp, clean them up, clean up where I messed up, all that. So I'm just going to fix up the um, into my brows and just do the other one. And like I said, this is the quickest way um, for me to do mine. You can do yours however you like. I use my foundation to clean up the top. I don't use uh, the same concealer that I use underneath. Um... I was going to do uh, my foundation after this, but I'm actually going to add some more translucent powder. This is the e.l.f. Putty Primer, but I'm just going to put that all over and um, then I'm going to go in with the same translucent powder I used on my brows and putting it on my face just to set that <laughs> to help with the sweating. And I'm going to buff out the concealer uh, with a dense um, blending brush. It was like the best thing to help with that. And then I'm going to just clean up the front just so it's not so boxy or anything like that. I didn't really put any um, anything on the front of my brows just so they wouldn't get really dark. And then I'm going to take the foundation stick from Juvia's Place. I don't know how to pronounce the name of it, but it's like the fourth shade from their darkest shade. Um, and then I don't put foundation where I'm putting concealer anymore. It helps with the creasing a lot. So if you get a lot of creasing under your eyes, I would just say don't put your concealer on top of your foundation. Just make sure you avoid your under eye and only leave that for concealer. But I just wanted that to dry down some. I usually wouldn't put this much concealer. I didn't need as much, but it wasn't that big of a deal. Now I'm going to take um, this dark, what I was going to use for my contour shade. It's from the P. Louise um, shades. Like It's like their darkest brown before you get to black. And I'm just etching it out around my lips just so they are, you'll be surprised they're going to be more defined later on, but... And I'm just going to take that beauty blender, always blend up, and I'm just going to get that contour in. I know I stopped, you said I stopped using the liquid one, which I did. I just felt like using one today. And you can see that dry down a lot because it's super yellow. Super, super yellow underneath. And I'm just going to take my uh, foundation brush that I use and blend out where my cheeks and stuff are because I don't like that harsh line from where like the top of my cheek is to where my concealer is and I'm just gonna blend that out I didn't let that sit at all I blended it immediately because I'm gonna contour my nose too wait there it is you see me blending and buffing that out just touching it all up just so it's not so harsh I don't like that 
same same contour shade that I took and I'm gonna do my nose and I know it seems like a lot but it's gonna work out and I just spray some setting spray on that beauty blender and buffed out my nose and boom now I'm gonna use translucent powder all over my face and I wasn't gonna use my fit me but I'm, a I'm actually gonna put that under my eye later but yeah this is just um, translucent powder all over just to set it again And I just took some of my Fit Me um, pressed powder and I also put it on where I usually conceal because it was just really yellow and I didn't want it that bright. And I'm taking my highlight and contour palette and setting my um, contour. I just knew we were going outside later and I, I used a lot of powder just so my face wouldn't move. And then this is the Coco Naughty by Fenty. I know this is my bronzer. And um, I was looking for the name. It's like Wine Russo or something from Wet n Wild. But that's my blush color. I forgot what I was looking for. Oh yeah, okay, so there's my Fit Me um, Loose Powder. And I put it under my eyes and on my nose. Just because I felt like, okay, now it like got lost when I put all the translucent powder. So I'm just going to let that sit. And I put a little bit of powder because I didn't want to look too cakey. So I just only put a little bit. And I'm going to take this Juvia's Place um, palette. And I'm going to take those browns. And it wasn't dark enough when I was doing this. Um, I had to really pack on. And, I, and it was a little more red too. You can see like a little more pink. So I'm going to end up taking my contour palette and fixing it and deepening it even more just to give it some more um, depth because to me it just like wasn't even there like when I do this um, white it's not white white it's more like a cream but this is also from P Louise this is um, another concealer that they have I'm gonna set this as well um, with a white shade but I'm gonna just buff this out so it's not so it was like a half cut crease, but not really. I didn't want it super defined. I just wanted it there. But I'm just buffing it out right now. And then I yeah, I took my contour and I went in. I had already did it, but camera missed some of it. So I just showed y'all again, like where I put it. And I'm gonna just take that creamy white in there and just set that concealer so it stopped moving around. And it was pretty easy, um, simple look. That's all I really wanted. I didn't want something like super, super like crazy for this one. Um, this is the darkest brown again, and I'm gonna use this as my lip liner. Now I have browns to do a lip liner, but for me, this was better. And remember when I said my lips will pop later, that's what I meant. Like I didn't overline too much with this. And I'm actually gonna take an orange from the palette now, I don't have anything on my lips. Um, I'm I'm going to do it again at the end off camera. And I just put a little more on top of my gloss as well. But this is my For Lifer uh, gloss from my website. Soft and Silky uh, Beauty. But I'm going to leave the link in the description. But yeah. So I just cleaned it up. And I'm going to do this wing liner. I almost didn't, but since the eye makeup was so basic to me, I was just like, I'll put a wing liner on as well. And it just made it look a little extra. And for me, this was just a look like if it was like an everyday, I wanted to do something and make sure like people know, hey, I got makeup on, whatever but nothing too complicated, it would be this, or if I just even wanted to go out and didn't feel like doing a lot to my makeup, it could be the same, so. 
and that was my makeup revolution liner that I always use and then it, this is me wiping off the powder that I forgot about but since I put very little you can tell it didn't like it didn't make me look cakey or anything like that and this is just my um, mascara that I always use I usually forget to do my bottom lashes, but I just fixed the top of my, um, I, the ends of my eyebrows a little bit and then took my Morphe setting spray. And I'm actually going to put some highlight on. I haven't done this in a long time and I have a whole palette for highlight, but this is my Morphe highlight palette. And I'm going to take this purple pink, both of those and just do the side and you can see it pop up immediately. And yeah, this is final look. Boom, there she is. All done. Baby hair's done. And I just thought it was really easy, but it looked really good, really clean. And like I said, it can be an everyday, it can be going out, it can be a date night look, whatever you want to make it. But yeah, this was it. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe.